Welcome back traders. For those of you who've been watching the Euro US dollar, we saw some very interesting things going. Remember we saw this uh, short position over here of the short pin bar and we said if the news lined up that it would continue to go short and it did, the news did agree and things did start coming down quite nicely. But then we had this massive upset happening here and so far this has already run to 176 pips which is quite a bit in such a short period of time. And this goes to show why it is so important for you to keep an eye on the big news events that are coming out. Because what seemed to have happened is the US has a news event called the Crude Oil Inventories. Now basically the Energy Information Administration called the EIA. Um, the Crude Oil Inventories measures the weekly change in the number of barrels of commercial oil held by the US firms. The level of inventories influences the price of petrol products, which can have an impact on inflation. Basically, you know, if, if oil price starts going up too much, but they have less inventory, then you're going to start looking at an increase in price in all transport costs, which increases the price in services, in anything that needs to be delivered and so on and so forth. And we do sometimes see quite a turnaround. And that is indeed what seemed to have happened here. Uh, let me pull up the news again from uh, JP Markets. Here we go, crude oil inventories came out negative, lower than what was actually expected. Now, there was another news event that came out at 4.30, the same time as the crude oil inventories, and this one is listed as only one bull. Low volatility is expected. However, the difference was massive. You know, if you're looking at a forecast of 0 0.5 and it comes out at 4.6, that is really a very big difference. And this has also seemed to have spiked things going on, hammering the US dollars quite a lot. Gasoline inventories measures the change in the number of barrels of commercial gasoline held in inventory by commercial firms. You can read this yourself. But you can see if, if things are massively different, like if America is actually a lot shorter on gas, then you're going to have an issue. So yes, we saw this news, the one that we were waiting to come out, and we did actually have the movement that we expected. Um, here we go. This is about when that news came out. So we had that nice short position and it was lining up and we had the short pin bar and we didn't get too far off the first safer target. But then this other news came out and it, it really knocked us quite a lot. So if you were in that trade, your stop loss should have been just off this tail here. Um, so you should have been stopped out reasonably early. If you were watching the trade and you were, say, playing it on the 30 minute, then you should have been able to grab some of the money on the way down. But it certainly didn't go as far as we were hoping, which would have been this much further one. But now what's interesting is that we're now breaking through this previous line of support and resistance. If I zoom out the chart, we can see here that this line uh, we can see here that this line has been hit dead on and we've had some testing and whatnot going slightly above it and let's go back in here and we can line it up the price that it's at right now is where it's been tested twice before and it is very close to this line and we can see it's been tested there if we go to the daily and zoom out i'm fairly convinced we'll find some more yeah, you see this level has been tested quite a few times. So we're at another good point where we might be able to pop into a fairly decent trade. But what we need to take into account is let's have a look at what news is coming up. And we're going to check the news specifically on the euro as well as the US dollar. And this is how you prepare for a longer term trade. So we've already had most of Thursday news coming out tonight. We're looking at Canada, which we're not looking at right now. Um, pound Canada so there's no major news coming out for the rest of the week out of the US dollar we do have a whole cluster of moderate volatility news coming out so we will need to watch this but hopefully on Friday by this time you will be out of your trades you, you won't be stressing over the weekend holding it so what we need to do is see if we can have a look at next week so I'm loading up next week's news already because we are close to the end of this week. And we're looking for Euro and US dollars specifically. Uh, the three bull effects. Here we go. Okay, this is very big. The economic sentiment. This is one of the important factors to placing a long term trade is trying to keep track of the general sentiment of a particular currency. Um, now, inside the Euro, we obviously have several countries that are part of the Euro. Germany is 
the the game changer germany is the the country that seems to run the euro because they have a very big economy um angela merkel is very hands-on with regards to helping with monetary policy austerity measures all sorts of things like that so we would be very interested to see how this uh, economic sentiment comes out and this will help us determine which direction the longer term trade is going to be running in so already now you would be writing down okay well we need to watch out for this event. It is happening on uh, Tuesday at 11. Don't worry, this will be in the newsletter to remind you. Um, and here we go, we have the core CPI coming out that afternoon as well. So if we see our technical analysis is gonna continue saying that this should be long, um, and you know, at a glance it certainly does look that way, but I don't really see any exact patterns although it does seem to be breaking through this level, but we'll have to wait and see what's happening there. So we have the technical analysis pointing towards uh, a bullish trend. We'd like to see it break another support or resistance line to confirm the bullish trend. Then we have the news coming up and we have the economic sentiment coming out on Tuesday. And this will help us determine, is this trend going to keep going? Is the euro going to keep hammering, hammering the US dollar? So please just keep in mind that Forex trading isn't just one thing. You can't just look at you know has it come off the line or do i have the right pin bar but by combining things like market sentiment like news events coming out as well as the technical analysis you start putting together a whole arsenal of weapons which will help you make the right trade so use this as a practice if you have a live account you know keep it small for now um, if you have a demo account well just jump right in and see what you can do on this um, yeah but try and watch it it's, it's going to be very very interesting what's going to happen with this trade because when we see like a big movement like this going bullish and a lot of things are pointing to say that this might actually be bearish then sometimes we see a very violent turnaround and it would be lovely if we could watch one of those happening right now so keep your eye on it and uh yeah we'll do another update on tuesday and see what's happening with this trade have a fantastic weekend folks drive safe